Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Tea Time. Today, we have some misty morning. Really, really good stuff. So today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about Serif as well as Adobe. Now, a lot of us creatives in the community know both of these companies. Why? Because they make the software that we use. Well, they both are doing something really great and that is allowing folks to use their product at home for free for a certain amount of time. Now, Adobe is doing it for the students, right? All the students that are stuck at home, they're having to do home learning now because all the schools are closed because of this COVID-19 corona nonsense, right? So they're doing a thing right now. Adobe has Creative Cloud free, basically for the students for X amount of time. And they put out a statement stating, with the many schools facing physical campus closures and moving to online learning due to the COVID-19, we're announcing that we're giving greater access to Adobe Creative Cloud desktop apps to facilitate distant learning. We believe that doing so will make it possible to keep coursework, teamwork, and student progress on track through at-home access to Creative Cloud for students and educators. As our education customers work to ensure Ensure both safety and learning continue in their communities, it is our goal to help them with the tools they need to move through these uncertain times. Our commitment to do so in a seamless way continues to be unwavering. So that is Adobe's statement. Now, if you like them or you don't, at least they're doing something for our kids, our students, to be able to use their software at home for free as of right now. Now, do I think that Adobe is most of the time disingenuous? Yes. Are they constantly trying to figure out a way to grab cash as quick as possible, as much as possible? Yes. You know, I don't personally think it is a good company. Not that the software isn't good. The software is fantastic, but the company itself, its core, its soul is really not great. Right, And that was one of the reasons why I broke ties with Adobe. As you can see here, Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord, I put together that series about a year ago now or so, and I broke all ties with Adobe altogether. And uh, I took you on that journey. So if you haven't watched that series, this is probably about 18, 20, I don't know. There's a bunch of videos in there. I'll put a card somewhere right around here. Go check that out because if you are one of those people that are looking to break away from Adobe software, I don't care what it is, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, maybe Publisher, InDesign, Audition, whatever it is, okay? I've probably did a video on it and I brought you through a bunch of alternatives that I tried and I told you what I like the best. Not that they are the best because your use is gonna be different than mine, but I show you what I use it for and then you could determine which one is best for you. So definitely check that out. Life After Adobe, Cutting the Cord. The series is fantastic. Now, I am going to be adding to it most likely and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. Let me get into the second portion of this. Now, not only is Adobe giving students something for free, Serif, which creates Affinity Photo, they also make Affinity Designer as well as Affinity Publisher. If you don't know what those are, Affinity Photo is a Photoshop alternative, Affinity Designer is a Illustrator alternative, and finally Affinity Publisher is a InDesign alternative. Now, I did videos on all of this software, like I said, in that Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord series, and I did pick Affinity Photo, for example, as the best Photoshop alternative out there. Now, that is the one that a lot of people use. Now, do they use Illustrator a lot? Do they use Photoshop? Do they use InDesign? Yes, and that's why I did cover Photo Designer as well as Publisher. But Affinity Photo is the big one right now. Now, what 
Serif has done, and I'm going to read you their statement um, real quick so you can see. But basically what they're doing is they are going to give us the entire community, not just the students, their software, their softwares, I believe all three, for free for 90 days, for three months, right? Or you can download their software and instead of getting it for free for 90 days, you can pay half price, 50% off, which is nice. Now, what they said here is, let me read this to you. Sarah's managing director, Ashley Houston says, unfortunately, we are hearing many stories from the creative community about how they're being severely impacted by the effects of the pandemic. We know we cannot solve many of these problems, but hopefully these things will make life a little easier for people who rely on creative software to make a living, but may be stuck at home without access to their usual tools, or for students who might suddenly be without access to their affinity apps on their personal devices. By increasing our spending on commissioning work from creative freelancers, we can also put some extra money into the part of the industry which will be particularly affected. So what Serif is doing here is basically threefold. They're giving you their software for free for 90 days. That's number one. Number two, they will allow you to buy it for 50% off if you want at any time. I believe it's up to April 20th. If I got that number correct, if I didn't put it something in the comment area below. Anyways, I think it's April 20th. They also pledge to engage or maybe hire about a hundred freelance creatives like myself, like <laughs> for doing some type of maybe video or photos or illustration or something to depict their software in use is what I'm going to guess. That's really cool. I really like that a lot. So instead of just simply like, Adobe's doing it is just giving their software to students for X amount of time. Affinity Photo is giving it to everyone to use for that three month period. And then if they want to purchase it, they can purchase it for 50% off. I like that also. I do like that they're also injecting money into the community, into the creative community when we need it, right? And hiring, let's say a hundred people, quote unquote hiring, however they do it. I think that's cool. It just makes sense. I think it's just a better way of doing things. Like I said earlier, I feel like a lot of times when we hear things that Adobe is doing, it just feels so disingenuous. It just simply does. To me, now, do I have anything against them? No. Do I think that their software is great? Yeah. I use their software for 15 years. Do I use it today? Absolutely not. Am I still a professional? Yes, I am. Can you use other pieces of software like Serif's Affinity software and still be a professional? Yes. And that's what I proved to you with this Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord series. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make more <laughs> Affinity Photo videos on using the software. I've been using it now for, like I said, almost a year. Is it just a simple one-to-one, -one, you know, you know Photoshop, you go right into Affinity Photo and there you go. No. Is there some similarities? Yes. But some of the stuff that you were doing in Photoshop, when you go to Affinity, you're like, where is it? What do I do? Right? So it is a learning curve. Nothing is just absolutely perfect from one package to another package. You have to learn. So you know what? Instead of me spinning my wheels, like I do sometimes, I'm going to do as I said I was going to do. I'm going to put a poll over here. I told you in the last video I was going to start doing these polls. Well, here comes one. Yes or no? Do you want me to create more helpful tips, tricks, how-tos, all that stuff on Sarah's Affinity Photo? If you do, I will make them. If you don't, I won't. <laughs> all right? There's no reason for me to waste my time and waste your time on stuff that you don't want. So, if you like the idea of me creating those videos and sticking them in the Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord series, I will do that, all right? So let me know over there. So guys, I think this is really great. If you haven't downloaded Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher, or F Affinity Designer as of yet, go grab it. It's free. This is a perfect perfect opportunity for you to test the waters of using an alternative to Adobe. Because after 90 days, if you do this and it works out for you, you could just cut the cord also to Adobe and stop sending them money every single month instead of using a piece of software that you can buy one time, own, and not have to pay at nauseam forever. 
that was one of my main beefs when it comes to Adobe is I originally was using their software for a decade plus, probably almost two, and I was paying $1,500 for their suites, okay? And I was doing that year on year on year, I spent tens of thousands of dollars with Adobe. And then when they moved to this, instead of buy me model, to this rent me model, where we're leasing the car and never owning anything, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep on paying these people like at nauseam. Like literally forever, let's say, say I, was, I had the full plan, it was like 60, 70 bucks at the time for everything. And I'm like, you know, am I gonna do this forever? Is that where it's gonna go down, you know? At let's say $50, for example, just for example, that's like $600 a year. You know, over five years, you're looking at $3,000 that you spent on Adobe software. When you can just buy something for 50 bucks, 3,000, 50. You know, you know, there might be some upgrades here and there, but it's just ridiculous. In its face, it's ridiculous. And a lot of people get complacent. They get lazy. They get comfortable. And that's what Adobe wants. They want you to be comfortable. Here you go. Test this out. This is nice and easy for you. And the truth of the matter is, for example, I use Affinity Designer all the time. Affinity Designer is basically Adobe Illustrator. Now, I used Illustrator for decades, right? Loved the software, but it was just a pain in the ass. It was difficult to use, even using it over many, many years. It's just so just, it's not at all intuitive. Whereas when I went to Affinity Designer, I'm like, oh, super simple. Stuff that was difficult with Adobe Illustrator was super simple with Affinity Designer. Now, is everything like that? No. Affinity Photo is one of those things where there's certain things that I would like for them to change that is more akin to Photoshop. But I don't care. Once we learn it and we know it, it doesn't matter anymore. So if you're brand new and you don't have Photoshop and you go into Affinity Photo, the thing is a beauty. <laughs> it's very simple. It's very, very to the point right? Whereas if you are a guy coming in from Photoshop, there might be certain things that you'll be like, ah, where is this? Now, does it do it? Yes, but they do it a little bit different. All right. So like I said, don't forget, take that poll that was up there. Let me know. Do you want me to make them? Do you not? Whatever it is, you let me know and I will do it. In the comment area below, as well as the description and maybe somewhere right around here, I'll put the link where you can go download these software packages for free. Once again, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher. Bear in mind, there's one other thing. If you use Affinity Publisher, it basically takes this holy trinity and sticks it into one. So you're not having to constantly move from package to package. I love the way that they've done that. So definitely download Publisher, even if you don't use something like InDesign. It is great to be able to house everything in one place and be able to do whatever you want from one area, one platform, one app, let's just call it. Also, don't forget, Serif does have, for example, Affinity Photo for the iPad. So if you want to use Affinity Photo on your desktop, you can. If you want to use it on your iPad, you also can. They're almost identical. They did an ex just an amazing job at putting that together. So that's something that you can look at also. And if you want me to do some iPad tutorials um, instead of desktop, let me know in the comment area down here also. So I'm sorry that I rambled on a little bit here, but I do that sometimes. Anyways, if you enjoyed the content, please throw me a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to slam that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That would be awesome. Also, if you haven't downloaded my ebook, 10 Tips of Making Sharper Images, go over to jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. There's something there for amateurs as well as pros. 10 Tips of Making Sharper Images. Also, if you want to get some of these teas, head over to darkmoontees.com or you can go over to jchristina.com. 
check them out. Really, really good stuff. You guys wanted them, and I made them for you. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to each and every one of you. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care.